So, number six then from the 2014 Higher Maths Paper 2, a little double angle, 2x, single x, double angle, trig equation to solve. Annoyingly though, it's in radians. Best just to put your calculator into radians, rather than do it in degrees and change them afterwards. Well, first step will be, let's change this 2x into a single x. So I've got sine x minus 2 times. Now, there's a variety of forms for cos 2x. I want the one that just involves sines, not sines and cosines or cosines, just sines. So it'll be 1 minus 2 sine squared x minus the 1 equals 0. Because that way I can form a quadratic in the sine of x. I'll tidy this up. Sine of x minus 2, but plus 4 sine squared x minus 1 equals 0. We're getting there. Just rearrange this into a better looking order. 4 sine squared x plus a sine x minus 3 equals 0. Now, does it or doesn't fact? Does it or doesn't it factorise? If it factorises, it'll be quicker. If it doesn't, it'll be really nasty because I'd have to use the formula for it. But this does factorise. 4 minus 3 does give a 1. So it must be 4 sine x times sine x to make the 4 sine squared. A 1 and a 3 to make the 3. But the 3 will have to go over here because otherwise I'd get a 12. Then it's a positive, so the bigger 1 will be plus and that will be the minus, and that equals zero. You just quickly double check that. 4 sine squared minus 3 minus 3 sine plus 4 sine is plus 1 sine. That gives me then these two parts multiplied to give zero. So each of those could be zero. So if this part is zero, I'll have sine x would have to equal 3 quarters. Or if this part was zero, I would have sine x equals negative 1. Now that's a calculator case, but this is just a wee graph job. So you just think, what does the graph look like? Sine x. Sine x looks like this. When does it get down to negative 1? Here, 3 quarters of the way along. Not 270, I want it in radians. So x will be 3 pi upon 2. There's one of my answers, but the other answer is going to have to be inverse sine of 3 quarters. So I'll have to use the calculator. Make sure you've got it in radian mode. So I've got inverse sine of 3 divided by 4, just to make it quicker, gives me 0 0.8480. I'll not put it down straight away because, although the signs are positive here, the calculator will give me the acute angle and the cast diagram will tell me where to put it. Uh -huh. So all sine tan cos are the positive so this acute angle that I've got, this acute angle which was 0 0.8480, so 848, you really want about three decimal places with radians to equate to one decimal place with degrees. So it's either going to be there or round to here, or there rather, which takes angle round to here. So I've either got x equals 0 0.848 radians, or I've got halfway round minus it, but not 180 minus it in radians, that's pi halfway round, pi minus 0 0.848. Well, that one there we'll have to use the calculator for again. I'll just do minus pi and ignore the negative. So minus pi gives me 2.2935. So that's 2.2935 and so on. And then I can put all my answers together. So in order, I've got x equals... 0 0.848 3 pi up in 2 is more than a single pi which is 3 odds so that will be next 2.29 I'll make that a 4 to give it 3 decimal places but I can keep that one exact 3 pi upon 2 there you go 5 marks please